Patay na si Jesus was directed by direct Victor Villanueva. It stars Jacqueline Jose and a lot of act other actors which honestly I do not know. I'm sorry but they're good actors. The story is about a family that took a road trip from Cebu to Dumaguete just to see the remains of their father named Jesus. That's why uh, patay na si Jesus. I have to be honest, I didn't really like it. Why? Why? Mainly because I found it really scattered. There were a lot of issues that were underdeveloped. It was just there for the sake of it being more interesting. There was a breakup involved regarding a third party, teen uh, pregnancy involved, uh, all those cliches that we find in all movies that we that make us wanna <gasps> but and at this time it won't make us <gasps> anymore because it's it happens every movie already. So other than that, I think the plot is relatively family oriented since it focuses on the journey towards getting to know what they feel about their father. Di ako magsisinungaling and medyo hindi ko talaga na sakyan yung patay na si Jesus. I think hindi siya magiging nakakatawa kung hindi ka bisaya. I think if it was in Tagalog or in English per se, it won't be that funny. One of the things that I really don't like about the movie is the type of humor that it delivers. However, it may be funny to others. It's uh, For me, it's quite irritating to be honest. For example, the type of comedy we see uh, whenever we watch Vice Ganda movies. When, uh, for example, uh, may sasabi na punchline yung nagjujoke, tapos ipapakita na nagre-react yung kanyang biniro. For example, um, knock knock, who's there? You, you who? Nye, nye. Parang school vocal yung style ko. Like old school comedy na parang really. Don't get me wrong, it's really a fun movie. However, there were a lot of scenes there that were irrelevant, that didn't even contribute to the story. It was just there to make us laugh, or it was just there to make it more interesting, or to make uh, uh, touch our hearts, or to make us relate. However, it was, like I said, underdeveloped. Nalabuan ng talaga ako sa yung character ng madre. Uh, what? So, pa, bakit pa? I don't think it was really relevant. It didn't contribute to the story. And then in the latter part of the movie, she just disappeared. So, yeah, I don't get it. Na parang, it was just like comic relief, just like that. And then the director realized, oh, it's not really working out, so bye. The cinematography of the film is quite similar to what we have in Star Cinema. Yung tinatawag natin graduation shot. Um, I think there was a lacking in uh, experimentation when it comes to lighting and, the, and some of the scenes. Na merong scenes na halatang inilawan lang talaga siya para makita ang lahat ng tao. Hindi man lang sila nag-experiment with the shadows. And, Para talaga siyang graduation photoshoot. That's why it's called graduation style. It's really well lit. However, if there are darker scenes, it's not really that dark. Uh, they weren't able to somehow communicate well. However, there are some good shots that make you feel like, no, oh, okay. Yeah, but I think they, they could have done more with the shots while they were traveling. Although, one of the funny shots or one of the funny scenes actually of the movie mainly came from the acting. I would like to give a shout out to Chai Fona Cher who was actually also in the film Pauwi Na. Makita mo talaga dito sa film na to kasi dito sa film na ito, isa siya ang tomboy. Tapos sa film na isa yung sa Pauwi Na, she was a girl. So I think na, na appreciate ko yung kanyang talent when it comes to acting na dito medyo. Uh, meron siyang strong scenes dito na parang ma ma mapapaha sa kanya as an actor na parang mapapaniwala ka na oh, tomboy talaga to. Ito yung isa sa mga upsides ng movie na ito na there's really good actors involved and they're also fluent in the Visayan language. So, it, it works actually. Patay na si Jesus was a funny movie but it's, it's not necessarily a good movie. I'm sorry. But, uh, that's, my, that's my opinion only. But, there are some scenes that are funny, but not most of them are really corny, predictable, and you know, even sickening. Uh, you just have to watch the movie to find out for yourself why. So would I recommend my friends to watch Patay na si Jesus? 
yeah, I would, but I would tell them that if you're just in it for a good laugh, I think this is a good movie. But if you're in it for a good laugh and a good experience of the film, I think it this lacks more on storytelling, uh, on how they portray their characters and how they portray the story, make it really sequentially flawless. And yeah, I think this movie would have been better if it was a sitcom or a TV series, to be honest. Because the, the cuts of the scenes are really scattered. It could have been different episodes. It's, it's too much to digest in one sitting when you're watching it on the big screen. So yeah, patay na si Jesus. I'm gonna give it a grade of a C. So patay na si Jesus. Nakita niyo na ba siya? Uh, let, let me know. Natawa ba kayo sa jokes? Ano yung favorite jokes niyo sa movie na yun? Kung meron kayong mga comments, suggestions, or further reviews about the movie, just comment below. Let me know. And always remember, support local films at mabuhay ang pelikulang Pilipino. Thank <laughs> you.